Back pressure is a common problem in backend systems, but it's often misunderstood. It happens when data comes in faster than the system can handle. In this video, let's understand what back pressure is, what causes it, and how to deal with it. Imagine water flowing through a pipe. Now, if the input is faster, then the output pressure builds up. The same happens in software when a fast producer sends more data than the consumer can process. Now, what causes it? Back pressure usually occurs when one part of the system works faster than another. For example, if an API produces messages quickly, but the database writes slowly, the system starts to overload. Without proper flow control, this becomes a bottleneck. Then what happens? Now as the pressure builds, memory usage increases. Queues will start to fill up. Eventually the system starts slowing down or it may eventually crash. This affects performance, reliability and user experience. How are you going to handle it? To handle back pressure, we use techniques like buffering, throttling or pausing the data flow. In Node.js, streams handle this automatically with pause and resume. Others like the Kafka or RxJS also support back pressure away processing. Back pressure isn't just a technical term, it is a key part of system design. By handling it properly, you make your backend more stable and scalable. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Full Stack Dev for more practical backend concepts like this. Thank you.